Hi, I am Mr. O. I'll be your online instructor for this circuit discovery kit. Okay, we all know that science is a very interesting subject. Okay, but now I'm going to show you how science can be learned in a very fun way uh, using hands on experiments. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to teach you how to connect a series circuit. Okay, but before that, okay, let me show you the apparatus that we need. Okay, so we need this. Okay, this is a battery holder. Okay, and of course, we're going to put the battery in. Okay, this battery, right, you see, this is the tip, this is the tail. The tip means that it's a positive terminal, okay? And for this battery holder, this red color knob, it represents the positive terminal. So I'll put it in this way, okay? And I'll do that for the other one, okay? And I need to combine these two batteries together, why? Okay, because each battery is 1.5 volt, so when I connect them together in a certain way, it becomes 3 volt. Okay, so you look at there's a groove here, right? Okay, so I can easily slot it in this way. Okay, just make sure that you know the black always uh will be always neighbor with the red knob. Okay, so now this battery is done. And I need two light bulb holder. Okay, so this is the light bulb holder. Take a light bulb and you screw it in like this. Okay, and do it for the other one. Okay, now everything is set up now and what we need to do is to connect the wire okay so some people they they will see this series circuit as a ring circuit okay because this series circuit is just about connecting all the apparatus together in a complete ring okay so now this is what i'm going to do okay you can take the wire okay you have a uh, black and red wires okay so you can use either one okay they work the same way Okay, so how to connect it uh, into this knob, right? You just have to unscrew it. Okay, then you insert the wire and then uh, you screw it back and tight. Okay, and look at the connection point for this light bulb. You see this, this is something like, uh, like a spring. Okay, so what you need to do is that you have to bend it and then you see there are some, some holes in between, right? So just lock in the wire. Okay, then you let go. Now it's connected. Let me show you one more time, okay? So you bend, okay? Slot it in, okay? Like that. that's all, okay? Very straightforward. So we do it this way. Now it's the switch. We are done with the series circuit. Okay. okay, can you see that everything is connected in a ring? Okay, so now what I need to do is to um, close the switch, okay, and the electricity or we say the current will flow through and the light bulb will light up just like this. Okay, so this is how a series circuit can be connected. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go through two questions with you. Okay, so question one. What happens to the brightness when you connect more light bulbs in series? Okay, so now you can see that I have two light bulbs in series. Okay, so I want you to just take note of the brightness now so that you can compare when I add another light bulb. Okay, so now I'm going to switch it off. Okay, and I have with me another light bulb which I'm going to connect it. Okay, so I want you to see what happens to the brightness, okay? So, I think it's very obvious. Just now, the, the light bulb was quite bright, okay? But after I, I put in the third light bulb, okay, the brightness actually, it becomes uh, lower. So, it becomes dimmer. Do you see it? Okay, so this is a typical exam question that will be asked. Okay, so, of course, the answer to this question, right, is that the more light bulb you put in, okay, the, the light bulb will become dimmer. Okay. And guys, what why is this so? Okay, just now you can see that there are two light bulbs sharing two batteries. Okay, so now you have three light bulbs sharing uh, the same thing, two batteries, so they get lesser energy, okay, for individual light bulb. That's why the brightness is lower. Okay, so this part clear. Now, 
Let's look at the second question. Okay, what happens when one light bulb fills? Okay, so fills means that you no, know, um, it has blown or you know it is spoiled. Okay, so how do I simulate this, right? Okay, I'm going to unscrew one light bulb. Okay, so look at this. Now it is dim, but you, know, you can still see that bit of light, right? Okay, so now what happens if I unscrew this? Okay, so I unscrew this. Imagine this as fuse. What happens to this and this? Okay, it will not light up. Okay, so why? Why is it so? It's because, okay, maybe I show you a diagram. Okay, so this is the battery. Okay, this is the circuit symbol for battery. One long and one short line. Okay, then I have a switch. And a light bulb is represented by a circle with a cross inside. Okay, one, two, three. So what happens when I switch it on, right? Is that electricity will flow. So now this magnet here, imagine this is the electricity, it flows this way. So it flows this way, it's a complete circuit, right? So when one light bulb fuse, or when I remove one light bulb, right? Imagine this is gone. Okay, and can the electricity still flow through the entire circuit? You can see you, you come here and then you reach this, this gap, which is like a break point. Okay, so the circuit is open, electricity cannot flow. That's why this two light bulb also uh, will not light up. Okay, this part clear? Okay, so basically this is what I have for you for this uh, series circuit. Hope you enjoyed.